We can go ahead and begin. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Caleb Dirksen, and welcome back to Caleb Plays Banjo-Kazooie. And today, we're gonna see if we can, if I can complete this game by, yeah, see if I can complete this game. No, I don't want it. Erase it. Anyways, as I was saying, well, I'm gonna complete Banjo Kazooie tonight, or at least I'll try to complete it tonight by co. Yeah, first, first I'm gonna collect all the notes in Quick Clock Wood because I don't have all 100 yet. Then I'm gonna move on to Grunty's Furnace Fun the final boss with Gruntilda, and yeah, maybe I'll even collect the stop and swap items. By the way, the reason why I'm not sounding as enthusiastic as I what as I usually am right now is because I have to do my reviewing duty since I just came out of watching Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate the sequel to DreamWorks an animated fan favorite, Megamind. And as someone who pr as someone who enjoyed the first Megamind movie, the only thing I can really say without spoiling the review is that it's bad. Oh, how it's bad. Uh, yeah. But that's that's basically the bad news. Well, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, and yes, I am am plan. Uh, yes, I am doing a review of Mega Mind, especially uh, Mega Mind versus the Doom Syndicate. Sorry about that. Especially since out of all the, out of all the people who voted. There are 20 who said yes, and and none who said no. So, it's, it's unanimous. Everyone who has voted on my YouTube poll wants me to do this review. And I can't believe it, so... I'm just gonna get that thing over with. Yeah, anyways, that's the bad news. The good news is that... I'm close to finishing off this game. Yeah. So hopefully I'll take hopefully this will take my mind off of that crappy waste of time in horrendous sorry excuse for a sequel. Yeah, first I'm gonna make sure I have all the gold feathers. Because I want to make sure I have enough stuff to, um, get all the notes without falling down and, uh, wi and without be- yeah, without getting hit by enemies. Hi, Andy. Hurry up, hurry up! Oh. Uh, no, you don't get to do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
backwash one. There we go. do this every time. <laughs> White pad, get up there, please. Thank you. 
That's all that I need from here. Except for these eggs. So... Check! I got all 100! And click... Well... I got... I got all 100 in... Yeah. I got all 100... Before on, on on my failed re on my failed stream, but uh, yeah. This is gonna be a waste of time having to switch files. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna go to file two to get all the, all the, all the notes from, uh, from Clickflop Wood. Eighteen red feathers, thirteen gold feathers, and a hundred eleven in blue legs. So, this is the file that I should have gone to. Yeah, because I, I went to this file to, uh, retry my completion of Click Clock Wood on my second stream. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I lost, I lost the initial stream when, when things didn't go as planned. Thank you. 
Yeah, the thing with Final 1 is that that was in preparation for Grunty's Furnace Run in case I, in case I got an answer incorrect and lost some health. No, no, absolutely no. I've got this skirt so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner.
first I'm gonna go into the other... The other cauldron room down here to collect some eggs. I think I already got the jiggy switch, so um when I when I'm ready to leave the woods I can turn myself into a bee and then get out of here. Yeah. The only thing that I really need to do now is collect all the notes to show that I to show how I actually completed it. Somebody not speed running. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I I'm not that great at speed running, and uh, I I just I'm just trying to take my time to complete this game. Thank you. 
I can play this tune on the piano. Well, great for you! Finally receiving in another Twitch user. this level reuses a lot of assets. Yeah, because it, it's basically a four season in the world where everything is the same but in a different season and, and you collect a different variety of items. Yeah, the bull and the snappy things too. The, the yeah, the snappy things are the bug catchers that, y yeah, the only way you can overcome them is if you activate the invulnerability or gold feathers by pressing Z and the right C button on the Nintendo 64. played the N64 version in years. Well, yeah, I, 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 I get your point because nowadays, people who, a lot of people who are introduced to Banjo-Kazooie usually start playing it on the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch since it's now also part of Nintendo Switch Online. But, uh, I got the Nintendo... I bought the Nintendo 64 version at a classic game shop, even though I was... Even though I was born after the Nintendo 60... Way after the Nintendo 64's introduction. Woo! <laughs> 
I usually play it on Xbox because it's the si it's the superior version simply because if you die, you don't lose pro you don't lose ah oh, crap. You don't lose your progress in catching notes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm hoping to play the I'm hoping to play the Xbox version 2 one day. Yeah, the, but the only Xbox console I have is the 360, and, and this summer, Microsoft is gonna discontinue the Xbox Micro, the Xbox Marketplace on that console, so, um, I, either, I guess either I have to buy it while I still can, or I'll just have to wait until I actually own one of the newer Xboxes, like a Series X or something. Yeah, I have enough energy. Yeah. On the Nintendo Switch, though, you could create a suspend point before you before you lose a life. Yeah, because that's probably the only that's the only way you can you can skip back on a Nintendo 64 game game on the Switch because uh, oh my God. At least the pool boat broke my fall. Oh yeah, Game Pass 2! Yeah, I I hope I can get Game Pass as one of these days. Anyways. Um, where was Oh, oh yeah, you can rewind on the other Nintendo Switch Online libraries like NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance, but not on the Nintendo 64. You have to create a sus- I, I learned that you have to create a suspend point for that. Which is really inconvenient. But, better safe than sorry. N64 was my first console. Bought it in 2001 at a pawn shop. Nice. Well, from what I remember, my, I think my family got the N64 for Chris, uh, for Christmas or something in the late 90s. And the only games we had on it back then were Super Mario 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, and Ready to Rumble Boxing. And now I have an actual physical copy of Banjo Kazooie for the for the N64, along with Donkey Kong 64, Kirby 64, Banjo Tooie, Paper Mario, Star Fox 64. Of course it's the only game where Banjo speaks actual words. He... The only thing he, in, he says in that game are, I'm Banjo! Thank you. 
redneck. Uh, hold on. Let me look up. It's a derogatory term, so I'm, I'm gonna disable that. Yeah, I'm gonna disable that comment. Yeah, you sh- I don't think you should say that word nowadays, because it's pretty racist and derogatory when describing a working class white person, especially a politically reactionary one from a rural area. I could use the Family Guy joke replacement for that word and say he's a country music star. Maybe. Yeah, as as long as as long as it doesn't seem racist or derogatory. Mother, please. Ah. Wasn't meant in an offensive or racist way. Um, 
More trying to say that Banjo is a southerner. Uh, I I see what you mean, but uh, I I looked it I looked it up on the dictionary as soon as Twitch as soon as Twitch gave me a notification that that it held your comment for for racism, sexism, or anti-Semitism. I was, I was just wondering. You're getting banned. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ban and this guy right now. Me too, I hate those bots. that comment as soon as I get up there. Banjo-Kazooie fact for you. Tootie, his sister, was originally his girlfriend, but they changed it late into development because they thought Banjo would have, have more motivation for saving his sister, whereas girlfriends are replaceable. Ah. That's good to know. Thanks for the follow there, buddy! <laughs> Gonna give you a follow, but I need to go. It's almost 2 a.m. in the land of T and Crumpus. Ah, so you're so you're from England, the UK. Well, cheerio there, buddy. Have a good night. It right now it's 7:49 p.m. Mountain Time here in Canada. have good game developers. Microsoft has already killed one of them, which was Lionhead Studios. Hopefully they don't do it to Rare too. Yeah, cause uh, recently 
Microsoft has, uh, Rare has been a little bit dormant in terms of developing new games, like, their most recent ones are Sea of Thieves the, and the Battletoads reboot. Yeah, right now they are still developing on Everwild, which is hopefully set to, which is set to be released on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Windows in the future. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty much stuck on Sea of Thieves. They're Eves. That's their big focus right now. And if Microsoft wants to make a new Banjo-Kazooie game, since they have purchased Activision Blizzard, I'm I'm thinking that the I'm thinking that Toys for Bob would probably be the best deal for them. Yeah. Cause of cause they made stuff like Crash Bandicoot uh, ba Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. And it does have a li little bit of a sim similar feel, a similar feel visual-wise. So, I don't, I don't see why, I don't see why Toys for Bob wouldn't be the perfect one for, for a new Banjo Kazooie game. And I also. I would also love it for be er, that new game to be released not Oh yeah, Playtonic Games 2. Yeah. Yeah. I have my bets are on Playtonic Games or Toys for Bob. But thank you for bringing it up anyway. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, I'm hoping that... Yeah, I'm hoping that that new game will be released on not only the Xbox or Windows, but also the Nintendo Switch, making its return to a Nintendo console once again, and and also the PlayStation, since I, I think even after... Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, the Crash and Spyro games are probably still gonna be on other platforms and not just the Microsoft ones, unlike what Rare has been doing recently. Yeah, especially with some of their first game aims for, for Microsoft, like Grab by the Ghoulies and Conquer Live and Reloaded. As a huge amount of people who worked on this game, including its composer Grant Kirkhope. Yeah, that's the thing too. Uh, I would love for Grant Kirkhope and the other people who worked on this game to be part of that new game if they ever do it one day. When the Activision deal was happening, I wasn't excited about all the Call of Duty on the Game Pass. Excited that they were acquiring the intellectual properties of another old game developer, Sierra Online.
Good night. Got me backtracking again. How dare you? And now I and now I'm I won't be finished with this game by uh, I won't be finished with this game by the three hour mark. I should I should be finished collecting all those notes. the feather. Just get it.
Nothing interesting up here, so... Just wait until fall then.
Fall now, going around, looking for all the notes, including the ones that I missed on this file. I think that's all the red feathers. I should have. That was the wrong C button. Thank <laughs> you. 
I already got the Jinjos, and so I've got uh, the Jiggy already. Can't see. Come on. Oh! <laughs> 
I was this close to falling off. Ha <laughs> ha 
Uh, no, 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 no! I was, I was getting close! I was, I was almost there! <sighs> this is so not fair, man! Take care of this dragonfly. Maybe that'll get me some energy back. And there's one more. taken care of you yet so I'm gonna do it now thank you
nothing in there. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I don't think I forgot anything else. Like, I have 84 notes. So the last 16 should be... Should still be in... Winter.
You Stop hitting me! There we go. Oh, 
Sorry, my finger was slipping for a moment on the Z button. to slip and slide. And bash this uh, creature. I think I already got what was inside the hive. The yeah, which is now destroyed. Oh my Jesus! My best bet would be to, um... Use the flight pad. Get up there, please. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, I was this close to falling. to swim and get the egg.
God, get out of there. Get out of there. How about this? There we go. You don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, hey! You passed, you just passed your best known score for this world! Very close now. Yes! You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done! All right. So that's everything for Quick Clock Wood. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do this tonight, but uh, now I can go oh, down here and go to Grunty's Furnace Fun. Not have taken nearly two about two hours for this. Wow, your best no score for this world is now 100. I get it. Oh, I I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I have to go back 
to spring and get my B transformation so that I can go up to that tree and get the last Jiggy in Gruntilda's lair. The Jiggy is up there! I got all the Jiggy in Gruntilda's lair! When Tootie is a big ol' lump, I just the frock to hide her rump! Mumbo magic get weak. Magic run out. All right. Now I can go back to- now that I showed you how I got through Click Clock Wood completely, I can now go back to game one and move on to Grunty's Furnace Fun.
I don't think that's the right I exit. This must be the way to Grundy's Furnace Gun. Here we go! Welcome all! Grunty's the name! Banjo here to play my game! My lair is done and here he stands Through all my tricks and traps and lands This final test will see me win When Banjo fails then I'll be thin The prizes on this stand bring joy From Tootie down to Cuddly Toy My little quiz will make you sweat and Tootie you shall never get! Cause somewhere soon along the way, your lack of skill will make my day! Cause in the fiery pit you'll go, and I will win the prize on show! So step on over to the square, press A to try it if you dare! A little answer's all I seek about this game, you furry geek! The Charmer helps you on your way in his pyramid, what did you pay? Yep. A lucky guess, you got it right! The next square's yours without a fight! A visual challenge, stupid bear, to tell me who it is or where! See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Was it Quick Clock Wood or no, Grunty's Lair? Crap! Fail a square and you'll feel pain. Please press A to try again. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Mumbo's Mountain. Hear the crowd, they boo and hiss. To see you fail, they would not miss. The energy you have found won't stop me making 2D round. On Mumbo's Mountain, it's not dull. What's in the eye of Mumbo's skull? Something... something else. A Jiggy. 
A question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day! Listen up now then, make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Is it... Brentilda. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? I think I know. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Mad Monster Mansion's Graveyard Pots. What appeared from them, there were lots. A bunch of flowers. I know my stuff very well. Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test, you one won't come back. Oh no! This is tough, your chances are slim. Of you eating more than him, Get, get over here! can eat the snakes. Oh no, 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 no! This is... This is stupid. Get more wrong, that's the way the crowds are happier today. What the... Let's see now. I no. I'm go I'm going the other way this time. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. Grunty's got a beautiful pose. Where do I get my delightful clothes? The trash can. That's a secret. How did you know? Did my sister tell you so? Of these items on the ground, on Treasure Troll was first found. What is this challenge again? 
The tiles will wait for you to match. Time is tight, but that's the catch. Let's be quick now. I did it! Yes! Anyways, what do I want to do next? How about I go here? See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Is it Rusty Bucket Bay? No! No! Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Jinjo! I already know his name! I don't know why the control stick slipped on the last question I tried. She will soon be fat and lame! What is your little sister's name? Oh yes, Tootie! Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Tip Top. Get this wrong for Grunty's sake, then a lava bath you will take. I'm not pretty, I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress? A reinforced girdle? Oh, no, no! So I see you're back to try one more time, but you will fry! Let's try again. In Quick Quack Wood, the Eagle's Wing, can you recall the stupid bird's name? Irie. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Is it... Rusty Bucket Bay? Freezy he's igloo isn't square. How many bears can fit in there? I should have paid attention. Free hee bears are rather sad. What can you find to make them glad? Presents. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? 
Yep, tip top. I know. Just one chance to get this right. When a Joker Ed help it might. Free he he slalom courses press. Through how many gates do you pass? A bubble fish who's really tame. In Clanker's Cavern, what's his name? Gloop. Yes! An extra life, I do not care. It will not help you, Scruffy Bear. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Mumbo's Mountain. An easy one, or maybe a jinx. How many carpets in Gobi Sphinx? There are four carpets. No! In Bubble Gloop Swamp's Giant Egg, what's not inside you needn't bag? A jigsaw piece. No. The giant plant in Quick Clock Wood, how's it get water to make it bud? From a camel. Finally, I got it right. The name of your game you must spell. Backwards though, be quick as well. E. I. O. O. E. A. J N A B Yes! It keeps me safe and free from harm. What have I as a lucky charm? A woogie filled hanky. Yes! Death penalty? Clanker's cavern really stinks. His massive chain, how many links? Eight? Yes! Thank God I didn't die. Apart from doing stupid rhymes, what's another of my pastimes? Flying radio control... Collecting dragon teeth? No. Fat Hag Monthly thinks I'm hot. What did I do on the cover shot? Post on my post in my long jumps. No. Let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? Big Naka. 
Yes! In Quick Clock Wood, a big oak grew. Which of these is the one that's true? The grass is high. The weeds are largest in summer. Yes! The box in the hold of Rusty Bay. How many to break would you say? Fifteen? Yes! Watch as the turtles sing their song. Repeat it quick, you won't get one. Blue, yellow, blue, purple, light blue, blue, red. I cannot lie, I tell the truth. What's hanging from my bedroom roof? Dirty undies? No. My looks at school were never thin. What award did I always win? Dirtiest undies. No. We didn't wash. There was no pool. Where did I go to which school? Saint, Saint John? Ugh, why do I keep getting every one of these incorrect? It is... It. Blah, blah, blah. What is Grunty's favorite drink? There we go. I hope I don't die at this. Listen up now then, make your choice. Which characters have this dumb voice? The turtle choir? Ah, that's death! An easy challenge you assumed on one more blah blah blah. So I see you're back to try. Let's hope I get this. Breeze Easy Peak is full of snow, but which of these isn't on show? Picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? No! See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, yes! Gobi's Valley! Mad Monster Mansion is real hard, but what's not found in the graveyard? Listen carefully to this tune. Which world's it from, you furry goon? 
Clanker's Cavern! See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Rusty Bucket Bay! Playing my music is his game. What's the church ghost hand's name? Moxan. Ah, oh, not this again! I'd rather let this crocodile win! Then go back to this. I don't think there's any escape this time. There's no escape! Sky, I love to glide. What type of broomstick do I ride? On Mumbo's Mountain, they look flash. How many huts were there to smash? Mumbo's Mountain is easy for sure. How many jigsaws open its door? Just one. Yellow, blue, yellow, purple, red, blue, purple. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? The box in the hold of Rusty Bay. How many to break would you say? Remember now before you lose, what type of toothpaste do I use? Salt, moldy cheese, or salt? No, that's death! That means I have one life left!
In a pyramid some tiles you match. Who's not included in this batch? Here's three facts on Freezy Peak. The one that's true is what you seek. There are five snowmen. No, no. Quick Clock Woods, winter is dull. What's Mumbo doing in his skull? Here's three facts on Free CG Peak. The one that's true is what you seek. No. In Rusty Bay, you may have been, but what on the walls isn't seen? Toll 7. You should remember, but we'll see. If this is heard, where would you be? Quick Clock Wood! Inside the Hornet Tide. So they're hornets. In Quick Clock Wood, a big oak grew, which of these is the one that's true? Try this one, but don't be lame. You'll lose a life and lose the game. Oh no. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Uh, Trunker the Tree. Yes! Thank God I have an extra life. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Rusty Bucket Bay. If you know this, please don't shout. In Quanker's Cavern, the odd one out. No. One doesn't exist, furry twit. In Monster Mansion, which is it? Yes. What is this? Oh, shit. No, I, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry I, I... 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 If, if, if the kids heard it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant shoot. Not 
touching this again. How about this? Do you know and can you tell on what on earth my favorite smell? Freezy's igloo isn't square. How many bears can fit in there? Four. No. Five. At Mumbo's skull, you made a stop. How many feathers were on top? No. Here's Freezy. The one that's true is what you see. It features five bears. There, I got it right. Blue, red, purple, light blue, red, light blue, yellow. Come on, hurry up! There we go. My hungry shark will end your game. On treasure trove, what's his name? Snacker. picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, bubble boot swamp? Yes! Here's the three facts about Rusty Bay. Pick the one that's true today. But there are four lifeboats. Listen carefully to this tune. Which world you from, you furry goon? Put clock wood. Yeah, I wonder how the Joker cards even work. Um, let me see. Answering them co correctly results in Banjo gaining two Joker cards, which can be used to skip any square on the board. Unlike the other panels, a Joker panel is consumed after one question, regardless of whether or not Banjo was correct.
Do you just skip them automatically? Your Joker misses out a square. Accept the test you did not dare. Thank God. The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favorite magazine? You want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. No. Look at my hair, see it flow. What's it washed with, do you know? Baked beans. There we go. Free Hee Snowman's giant scarf. What are its colors that make me barf? Yellow and red. I know that. Of these items on the ground, do on Treasure Trove Cove was first found. Gold feathers. Two bars left. Captain's Cabin in Rusty Bay, what's on bed do they I say? Oh no, one bar and then I'm dead. Three Kiki Bears are rather sad, what can you find to make them glad? Oh yes, presents, I know this. In Gobi's Valley, there's a tree. On its head, what can you see? A pair of sunglasses. A leafy wig. No! I am... I am... See, you're... <sighs> Whatever, Grunty. I, I need to go through this. Please. Mad Monster Mansion is real hard, but what's not found in the graveyard? I know. Ghosts. I'm really impatient. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Bubble Gloop Swamp.
A ghostly hand who has a sway in the church. What did he play? An organ. Listen carefully to this tune. Which will you from, you furry goon? Rusty Bucket Bay. Mad Monster Mansion's graveyard pots. What appeared from them? There were lots. A bunch of flowers. Yeah, you can press B to skip these. Look at my hair, see it flow, what's it washed with, do you know? Rancid milk? The newsstand is where I've been. What's my favorite magazine? Forty Girls Weekly. No. Here's three answers. One you'll pick. What's my amazing party trick? To perform a strip... No. A lovely specimen in its pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? A ruby bush? There we go! Quick-Quack's beaver is really dumb. What's the problem that makes him glum? He can't get in his house. Yes! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, yes. Quick clock wood. Yes! Freezy he peak is full of snow, but which of these isn't on show? A slippery seal. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice?
Napper the sleeping ghost. Yes. You want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. Yes! The Galley Fridge in Rusty Bay. Tell me what on the shelves lay. Kazooie's Eggs. Three Kiki Snowman's Giant Scarf. What are his colors that make him bark? Red, yellow, and red. I know. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Clanker's Cavern. Yes! Three. I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? Dog Dung Burgers. Gobi's Camel's on vacation. What's he got at his third location? The honeycomb piece. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? I can barely see. It's... Rusty Bucket Bay? Yes! See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Quick Clock Wood. Yes! Listen up now then, make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Boggy the Polar Bear. Yes! Fat Hag Monthly thinks I'm hot. What did I do on the cover shot? Sat on my boosting. Yes! I'm on a roll! You should remember, but we'll see. If this is heard, where would you be? Mumbo's hot. In Quick Clock Wood, the Eagle's Wayne, can you recall the stupid bird's name? I read. Mighty Big Box, you must now fight, but be quick as time is tight! Yes! All it took was some gold feathers. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No, 
See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Mad Monster Mansion. Yes! Of these items on the ground on Treasure Trove Cove was first found. Feather Dusters. No! That was Red Feathers. On Mumbo's Mountain, surrounded by sea, there's a ginger. What color is he? Across the sky, I love to glide. What type of broomstick do I ride? No. I like a cuddle and a fight. What do I take to bed at night? My, a scary teddy bear? No. Here's three answers, one you'll pick. What's my amazing party trick? No. Why is it? Acor across the sky I love to glide. No. Banjo stupid, Grunty's cool. What was my name at witch's school? Hog breath. No! Banjo stupid, Grunty's cool. What was my name at witch's school? Uh, cauldron butt. No. Don't be smart, you've not won yet. When I was small, what was my pet? A greasy warthog. No! I'm down to the last one! No, oh, no, no. I'm, I'm so close. I like them fried. They're quite a treat. What for breakfast do I eat? Uh, tadpoles on toast. Yes! Oh, finally. Yes! I am free! No one can win, I was assured, by the makers of this board. It's not fair! I want to win! How I long to be real thin! Now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure... All the credits you'll now endure. Well, I'll see you on the final boss. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Me, me, me! Uh, how about that body ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant. Kazooie! Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure, let's get out of this dump. Chief of Ideas, Greg Grunty Mails. More ideas, George Blubber and Andreas. Chief Keyboard Tapper, Chris Snacker Sutherland. Deputy Keyboard Mort Tapper, Morton Buzzbomb, whatever. Mumbo Jumbo, Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Old Big Clutter, blah, blah, blah. Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Graham Snippet Smith.
Keyboard Tapper, Kieran Conga Kano. Kano. Keyboard Tapper, Ray. Oh, I can't say it right. Other keyboard tapping, Mark Roxanne Wilson. Chief Scribbler, Steve Dingpot Mails. Cartoony Bits and More, Scribbling, Ed Jinjo Bryan. Seeing Crayoner Steven Sandy Butthurst. <clears throat> More sketching. John Napper Nash. Other doodling. Chris Chompa Peel. Big Noisemaker. Grant Clanker Kirkhope. Chief Free Player. I can. Rare free players, Stephen Shrapnel Brand, Gareth Groggy Glover, Gavin Grublin Hood, Steve, Mr. Vile, Jamie Jinxie Williams, Andrew Whiplash Wilson, David Cobb Ollie Wobble Wong. Noah Free Players, Todd Big Butt Bouchel, Doug Proctus Campbell, Kyle Chinker Carlson, Brent Boomboss Clearman, Sean Irie Egan, Bill Gruntling Guys, Tr Tom Trunker Herzog, Michael Congo Webb, Patrick Taylor. Paper Pushers, Simon Wago Farmer Eileen, <laughs> Strange Noisemakers, Eveline Twinkly Fisher, Lee Ripper Raid, Chris Swappa Seaver. Noah Big Thanks, Kevin Flippet, Wong. Big Cheese Thanks, Mr. Yamma. Bean Counting, Joel. Moving and shaking, Tim Tuck and uh, Tim Stamper. Copyright 1998 Nintendo Rare Limited, King by Rare, produced by Rare, presented by Nintendo. Hurry up and get us home, Banjo! <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can! Hey, look over there! We missed a carrot! Got him! Are you happy now? Come on, you two! We're ready to party! Great! I could do with a drink! A barbecue! How nice! Baron Bird did good. Helped Mumbo beat Witch. Yeah, but they needed my amazing moves to do it. No way! Me and Banjo were the stars of this game. What's the party for? Grunty got away, so get back up there and finish the job! I'M NOT GOING! 
Out! Yes, you are! Let's go! Alright. I wonder if this... I, w I wonder if this is going to save. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to rename this as part one of the finale. Uh, episode 17 is going to be finale part two. So... Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you guys for tuning in. And next next week, I'm going to be getting back into the next... I'm going to be getting back into this series to finish off the game with the final boss and the stop and swap items. So, if you like what you saw, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to YouTube, uh, subscribe to this YouTube and Twitch channel, yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my socials, and that's gonna be it, so thank you guys for watching, and until the final part of this, take it easy and enjoy your night. This is Caleb, over and out.